<laughs> All right, can do. All right, we're here in round two of the NYSC versus Gerbil Dude, who is on this hybrid Jeskai Pyromancer lists. They've got multiple Planeswalkers, Dreadhordes, and Pyromancers, three Pyroblasts, two Days, a Negation, and some Breaches. Let's see what we can do. I would put this matchup as unfavorable, but we'll see what we can do. Obviously, a Pyromancer. Oh, this is a, that's just it's a nutty hand. So we have the choice to play around the one force of negation or not. Um, they have no mind break trap. So it's four force of wills, one force of negation. And we have to choose whether or not to play around the negation. The upside to not playing around the negation is if we resolve our spell, it's highly likely we win the game. But we don't really get punished super hard by playing around it, to be perfectly honest. So I think we should just play around it. Like the the like what are they gonna do? Like play a, a volcanic and pass to hold up like pyroblast on the next turn? It doesn't seem worth it. I think not playing I think playing around it makes the most sense here. Uh do they have a wastelands? No wastelands. So let's just get a uh tundra because we have a jet already. See if they have a force of will. They do have a force of will. Okay. I mean, not much we can do about it besides jam into it. We got a time walk out of their hand. See what their play is. Tundra, Sapphire. They don't have a Lavinia in the main. They can Dak us though. Hit double Mox and Dak. Oh, to Fairy. Okay, that's fine. Uh, bounce the ruby, I would assume, to hold up Pyroblast. Three cards in hand could have Pyroblast. We're just jamming, though, because we can't deal with... Mm, that's kind of an interesting card. That might make more sense than P.O. I think this makes more sense than P.O.ing. Interesting. I think I want to jam into the PO now. If they have a Pyroblast, they have a Pyroblast. Um, but they might just not have it, right? This is still a four card PO with full rebuy. I'll make them have it. They didn't have it. But I didn't hit anything off of this. Urkel's is plus mana, but not plus blue mana, but we can draw a card with our top. So maybe what we want to do here is top, spin top, and then activate with Hercules. Seems like the best play we can make. Hopefully they don't have a misstep. Let's see if there's a PO. If there's a PO, this is good for us. Obviously we're two POs deep though. Found nothing. Obviously, Flusterstorm is not good. I guess we would rather want to draw this Mana Vault. We still probably want to do this just to, like... Oh, I can't actually make this play because of a Teferi. That's fine. Annoying, but fine. Kind of unfortunate. Ah, uh, unfortunate. All right, so hopefully our third card down is better than I mean, we have a we have a we have a, a a strand to crack next turn, so it's not the biggest deal. Um, I'm just gonna f six. Well, I guess I don't. Oh God, they have a mystical tutor for ancestral here. Seems bad for me. Well, we drew a lot of cards, but 
Not a lot of cards that did anything. I probably wanted... I don't know if I really wanted a second top. Maybe I did. Maybe I wanted that Lotus instead. Kind of an interesting time to ponder. I don't really think you want to ponder right there. Probably just want to ponder on the end of my turn. All right, so we have a lot of mana, so let's do the thing where we look the third card, see if the card's good. Lavinia? It will eat their Pyroblast. We lose a top, but we gain a Lavinia, then we crack and play a new top. Probably worth it, to be honest. It just resolves, okay. Hopefully they don't have misstep. Misstep would be really bad for me. Okay. How about a PO? Ancestral works. I mean, they currently have no interactive spells, but maybe they're going to kill us on their turn. We still have the ability to find a PO off this top. Academy Vamp. Lavinia might help versus, uh, like, Breach combo here. All right, I guess we want the, uh, the Vamp. Can't do it on our, we can do it at the end step if we want to just draw to a PO. I guess we can't do it at the end step. So I probably, <laughs> I guess I can just draw it for turn and then activate with top. Would that have been better than casting it then and there? Oh, they just have a braid for it. Okay. Interesting. So maybe we want to spin into Lavinia. They have a dig through time now. They have a cruise, so they could have a force again. Oh, Pyroblast, too. This Teferi is obviously very good against our not Pyroblast deck. So maybe the first thing we should do is actually check if the third card down is better than any of this stuff. Like we could get a Lavinia here to bait the Pyroblast. It just doesn't seem very good. I think what we want to do is just hope they don't have good stuff, good cards and go for Vamp for Yagwell. Oh, they just found misstep. Uh... I probably should have put the Lavinia on the top here. I don't think I did. Uh, maybe I did, and I just don't remember. All right, well, Xerox. This Teferi just brutalized us in every way. Clearly we should have used our top to find the vamp and cast it on our last turn. Maybe that was a pretty big mistake. I don't know if we would have known to get Yogwill there. I might have gotten a blue card and gotten wrecked. I mean, they might still have Pyroblast and then just like they don't care about the Slovenia yet. Kind of hard to tell. Oh, just Teferi is kind of awful for us. 
I kind of almost wish we could go back in time and have them have Dak instead of Teferi. Probably would have won this game. Maybe not. Maybe they would have. Uh, so this is going to bring back Brainstorm. We're going to bring back Misstep to hit my top. God, it's so brutal, chat. Uh, you have Gush. We have Dak. Back into Misstep. Misstep. Take my, kill my top. Yikes. That doesn't, that means I can't clear my top two cards, which means I die, I think. Maybe I was supposed to do something different in this game. I'm not really sure where I went wrong exactly, but I feel like we've, we punted somewhere along the line. Maybe they won't pay mana for their top here. Oh, they paid mana for it. All right, well, we're now we're locked underneath two dead cards. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to clear. I mean, I can clear this Teferi in two turns, but they have an active deck, so I just don't think this is all going to... I don't think anything's going to work out here. Uh, it looks like a classic Jeskai Smackdown on my PO deck here. We, we resolved a PO for three. We just didn't draw anything worthwhile, right? We resolved an Ancestral and a P.O. this game, but we just hit only mana, and obviously these cards were dead. Hmm. Horn would have been like decent light. We just like needed to hit PO PO Karn Will Narset Snap Demonic. It's probably even just like hard cast Citadel. Yeah, we had a lot of draws that did it, but we just didn't find them. We we drew like twelve cards this game. We're out, we're <laughs> we're down twenty four cards in our deck. All right, we we've been locked out by twenty nineteen planeswalkers. So let's just go next. We know we have another dead card on top too. Jeez. Oh. oh! Uh, I was not unluckiest enough to win that game. Uh, let's bring in Campbell, and we have to bring in Caracas for Lavinia. And let's bring in Hydroblast, Flusterstorm, Swords the Plowshares. And then I actually think like Lavinia is pretty garbage in this matchup. Maybe we'll play one, but I, I doubt I'll play more than one. Uh, I definitely, they're going to bring in Shattering Sprees. I want to board down on Opals, and I don't want to play Mystical. I think that's how I'm going to board. Opponent's going to bring in two Lavinia, maybe Wear Tear, fourth Pyroblast, maybe Shattering Sprees, probably Shattering Sprees. Repeal shouldn't be bugged, no. I'm going to board like this, I think. Maybe we could bring in Trap. Trap might be okay. They are a Breach deck, but like, it's just not good enough most of the time. I don't actually don't think I really want Trap very much. I mean, Karn's not fantastic, but it's fine. Let's just go with this. I mean, I could technically board down Island in this matchup. So maybe we'll play a trap instead of an island. They have no wastelands. You don't actually need a 13th land. I mean, they are a breach deck, but they probably brought out some amount of breach. 
I think it's only okay, but it's probably better than Island, so. PO operates on 12 lands. You only play more than 12 lands because you either have to facilitate a four color mana base or you need to respect shops and wastelands, so. Um, hand's really awkward, to be honest with you. I actually think it's like not very good. If this was an island, I actually this hand would have been much better. <laughs> if this was an island, I probably would keep this hand. I don't actually think this is a good hand. Unless my top card is a land. I, I, I actually think that if this was an island, this hand would actually be okay, but it's not, so I'm gonna mulligan. This hand's fine though. Just gonna bottom this PO. So we're gonna go for um, either Demonic Time Walk or Time Walk Demonic. Probably, t man, they can have Days. Oh, maybe we just slam this Karn. Hmm. I certainly have options here. They have, might. I don't know if they keep in Days because Days is like kind of weak versus PO. If I have any kind of Mox and Draw, but. This is obviously representing um, Pyroblast and Flusterstorm, which they have a combined total of six of. I might just slam a Karn, I think. It, it doesn't play around Days, but it plays around the other six counter spells. It doesn't do a whole lot, but I, I think it's fine. It might bait a Force or something. Ancestral. That seems bad for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ancestral in the forest, huh? Pitch gush. Should be pretty hard for us to beat a Xerox ancestral draw. Dak in my Dak, my soul ring. The pyroblast backup. This matchup is so bad for me. Oh, you have a Lavinia, okay. Well, rip Tinker plans. Well, and this opens me up to Flusterstorm, so maybe it was a bad play, but... Kind of want a mentor. Like ancestral makes the most sense, right? I don't think Camball is like remotely good enough. Isn't mentor just better than Camball? I mean, their deck runs one a braid, which is their out to all of that shit. That's the only, they, they're not bringing in swords. So like they have one out to either Mentor or Camball. I'm not getting Caracas. I mean, I can get Caracas and jam a Tinker and hope the Tinker resolves. That's a line, of course. I don't know if that's a winning line. Maybe it is. It's certainly a line I can take. It's not the bad, it's not the worst line, to be honest. But is it better than a Mentor or a Camball line? I would say Caracas is better than Swords because it plays around Mental Misstep and it's repeatable and it's like, it doesn't get countered. Uh, it's really, it's Mentor, Camball, or Caracas, I would assume here. I think they have a Pyroblast. 
Which makes me not. Which makes me want to take like a uh, Campbell or Mentor. Whisper is probably not good enough to win this game, I would assume. We might just die to Breach, too. You really don't like Mentor, P9? I can't. I, I feel like Mentor is the line here. Nine spells on Camball. Blocks Lavinia. I guess it gets to Ferried. Is there other out? We can't play another spell off Mentor unless we draw a land or like a Moxin or something, but then that Moxin gets countered by Lavinia. The Caracas line is the is the most powerful line. I'm gonna try Campbell. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see how it goes. Draw Caracas? Sure. It's interesting play. It's an interesting play. I'm gonna try to tinker for a top, I think. Obviously, if I get a Citadel, I can't cast anything off it. So they did have Pyroblast, okay? This is fine. <laughs> mm. All right, so... Handball or Mentor, I just don't know which is better. We're about to find out. See how far Campball can push it. They have the Abrade. Oh no, this is a this is a Dread Horde Arcanist for Ancestral Recall. Reasonable, reasonable. <laughs> Uh, I hate P.O. It's such a bad card. All right, well. I guess I should hold it in case they abrade me. I mean, they're just going to cast Ancestral and bury us here. They don't actually have to cast any more spells after they cast Ancestral. Yo is a horrible magic card. It's really bad. <laughs> if I can, I mean, I get to attack this turn if they don't play another creature. That whittles the clock down a little bit. The minute they play Teferi though, like how can I ever win? Not good for the home team here. This matchup is abysmal. They found Teferi off their Ancestral? <sighs> yeah. You got me. They're only going to bounce if they have a Force of Will. They must have a Force of Will. They only have three outs in their deck to Camball, but they sure found it, didn't they? I feel like I have to jam right back. If I wait. Like, I can't actually counter back, so if they don't have it, then this is really good. But well, they didn't have it. Interesting. That's That doesn't make any sense. Just plus this to Fairy, then. Just plus this to Fairy until you find Force of Will, and then bounce my Camball. I don't understand. Oh, you just drew in a Braid. Okay. Sure. Fucking wonderful, dude. Yeah, all right, cool. There are only 21 cards in the deck. Why are you gonna be like this? <laughs> uh. 
So with Mentor, I would have gotten one token and then PO'd for a second token. Bounced my token, abraded my Mentor, left me with one token. Actually, they would have attacked with Dreadhorde and I would have Mentor blocked and PO'd to kill the Dreadhorde. I mean, they drew their two answers. What do you want from me? <laughs> The answer to Jeskai is the is to play caverns and humans in the sideboard. Gamball is great against this specific version of Jeskai too because they don't even play any bolts or anything. Am I just getting this countered? What the fuck's happening? Oh yeah, instant speed treasure cruise. You got it, homie. Oh, this matchup is so late. All right, I don't even want to play anymore, guys. All right, we'll go watch something else because this is not worth my time. All right, uh, we got wrecked. We got wrecked. We were wrecked. 